Yoda is an absolutely iconic Star Wars character and has an even more iconic voice. Use the Force! Yoda has been in six of the eight Star Wars episodes to date, making him very central to the story. Oh, <laughs> great warrior! <laughs> War is not made one of great. We meet him in episode five when he is just a frail old Jedi, but got to see some incredible Jedi Master skills in the prequel trilogy. He is voiced by Frank Oz. Break this voice down! We will. Component number one, the vocal cords. One exciting thing for me as I break down these voices is discovering things about a voice that surprised me. This happened with Yoda. My memory of Yoda was one of him having a very high-pitched voice, and there are certainly moments when his voice does break into falsetto for sure. This especially happens when he is laughing. <laughs> It was also much more common during the prequel trilogy for him to have higher pitches. But I was surprised to discover that most of the time when speaking seriously, his voice is not that high at all. Death is a natural part of life. Rejoice for those around you who transform into the Force. Mourn them, do not. Miss them, do not. It is often on the lower side. This was especially true during the original trilogy. During the prequel trilogy, his voice did slip into falsetto much more often. You can listen to his lines in each of the films to decide for yourself when to be high-pitched and when to be lower-pitched. But don't be surprised when it is actually on the lower side. If you end your training now, if you choose the quick and easy path as Vader did, you will become an agent of evil. Many times, there actually isn't even activation of the true vocal cords at all. What do I mean by this? Well, when you listen to Yoda's voice, there is a very clear distortion that is present. This can be done in two different ways. One of these is the use of the false vocal cords. Another way to get this distortion is using the epiglottic distortion. This involves clenching the tongue backward until it causes it to interrupt the airflow that's interacting with the epiglottis. This is a leaf-shaped cartilage just behind your tongue. Sometimes, Yoda uses this distortion without any use of the true vocal folds at all. That is why you fail. You will be. You will be. We have used this distortion in a few other voices, such as Miss Piggy and Animal from our Muppet series. It makes sense that this would be the same type of distortion in their voices, since their voices are done by the same actor. I'm Animal! I mean, or Miss Piggy! Buzzy Bear! Yoda! Yoda! I am! Component number two, the larynx. As we've discussed in the past, the larynx can rise or lower, causing a change in the tone or timbre of the voice. While you can gain individualized control over the larynx, see our component focus number two video, sometimes other coordinations will naturally cause the larynx to move with it. For Yoda's voice, you could focus on his larynx significantly less than the other components. The vocal cords and the tongue, to be talked about soon, are the most important for this voice. To be sure, the larynx will rise for Yoda, but this will likely naturally happen as you do one of the other components. So instead of focusing on this component, simply let it rise. That being said, if you feel like your tone or timbre is simply too bright for Yoda, you can focus on consciously lowering the larynx to adjust the tone. Agenda uses the first for knowledge and defense, never for attack. Component number three, the tongue. A very important component for Yoda. The back of the tongue can flex or clench. We want to use a significant amount of that tongue clench and pull the back of the tongue backwards as we do so. This will help to give some of that Yoda resonance. In addition, pulling the tongue backward will enable it to have that epiglottic distortion that we discussed earlier. Careful you must be when sensing the future, Anakin. The fear of loss is a path to the dark side. Train yourself to let go of everything you fear to lose. Component number four, the soft palate. The raising and lowering of the soft palate helps us decide how much nasal resonance a voice has. As we lower the soft palate, we increase the nasal resonance. As we raise the soft palate, we decrease the amount of nasal resonance and increase the oral resonance. For Yoda, there is very little nasal resonance. The majority of the sound is made in the oral cavity. 
truly, we want to make his resonance feel as swallowed up as we can. While the sound is coming out of the mouth primarily and not the nose, imagine that the sound isn't even in the mouth but is trapped in the back of the throat. This will give it that swallowed up and throaty sound that Yoda has. So be sure to raise that palate. Use the false, Brendan. Component number five, articulation. While his grammar might be a bit confused, his articulation is clear as day. You can produce all sounds the way you normally would for this voice. The only thing to keep in mind is that oftentimes clenching the tongue back can make articulation a bit difficult. It might be a challenge at first to articulate clearly while using the tongue clench. Size matters not. Look at me. Judge me by my size, do you? Twilight is upon me, and so night must fall. That is the way of things, the way of the force. Component number six, prosody. Prosody is also a very important component for Yoda. In fact, most people know if you are doing a Yoda impression, even if you simply only do some of the prosodic patterns without doing the other five components that well, because his speaking style is so unique. The first and most important thing to note is his disordered grammar. You think, being roughly 900 years old at his death, that at some point along the way, he would have figured out how to use proper grammar. But nope, Yoda's speaking is often disordered. Instead of saying a sentence in our typical English grammar, such as, tomorrow we will go to the movies, Yoda might say, go to the movies tomorrow, we will. His grammar isn't always entirely consistent, but trying to put the subject and a verb at the end of the sentence instead of the beginning is often a safe bet. Another thing to note is how he never says more than a few words at a time. There is also a bit of poetic melody and rhythm to his speech, broken up into these small segments of a few words, with the last of the segments often dropping in pitch. All his life he looked away to the future, to the horizon, never his mind on where he was, what he was doing. Impossible to see the future is. For my ally is the force, and a powerful ally it is. Recap, let us. Component number one, the vocal cords. His voice is surprisingly often lower pitched, slipping into falsetto at times, especially in the prequel trilogy. Use the false vocal cords for the epiglottis for distortion. Component number two, the larynx. Allow the larynx to naturally rise in coordination with the other components. Lower it if necessary. Component number three, the tongue. Clench the back of the tongue and pull it backwards. Component number four, the soft palate. Raise the soft palate, causing there to be a decrease in nasal resonance. This, in combination with the tongue clench, can help to make the voice sound as throaty as possible. Component number five, articulation. His articulation is perfectly normal, but may be complicated by the tongue clench. Component number six, prosody. Make your grammar disordered, only speak in segments of a few words at a time, and make the pitch drop on the last of those segments.